Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to evaluate double integral over the region R dx dy, where R is the shaded region in the given diagram. So, we have a circle and it ranges from minus 2 to 2. So, from this, we can understand the radius is 2 units and the equation of the circle is x square plus y square equal to a square, where a is 2. So, we can say it is 2 square. So, x square plus y square is equal to 4 is the equation of the circle. Now, first part, we are going to do integration with respect to x. Then, we have y. So, we are going to perform the integration with respect to x. And we have to take a horizontal strip and we have to write the limit. So, from this, the value of x is nothing but from the equation, the value of x is 2 square minus y square within the root. But this side it will be negative and here it will be positive. Root of 2 square minus y square. Then the vertical strip if I take, it ranges from 0 to 2. That is the y limit. So let us write the limit here. Minus root of 2 square minus y square to root of 2 square minus y square and the limit of y is from 0 to 2. Now, integration of dx is x. We have to substitute the limit minus root 2 square minus y square to root of 2 square minus y square we have into dy and integral from 0 to 2. Now when I substitute the upper limit, it will become root of 2 square minus y square minus of minus root of 2 square minus y square into dy. We have from 0 to 2 integral. So this will become plus. So it will become 2 times of root of 2 square minus y square into dy integral 0 to 2. Now, we have a formula that is, let us write the formula first. Integral root of a square minus x square dx equal to x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus c. The formula we are going to apply for this term. So, 2 is a constant which can be taken outside x by 2 but here we have y instead of x. So, y by 2 root of 2 square minus y square plus a square. a square is 2 square by 2 sin inverse x by a which is y by 2 and limit is from 0 to 2. When we substitute the upper limit, first term will become 0 and this will become 2 into sin inverse 1 which is pi by 2 and if the lower limit both are 0. So, totally after cancelling this we get 2 pi 